the Mig Week message by Eleanor Anderson Smith. We are talking about the stained glass windows in the church. They came from the Brady Street Church, which was sold to a non-denominational church, and from there, that church sold it to the Butler Health System. And the church wanted the windows. So the men from our church went out and tore the windows out and put them up in boards and stored them till we got the church built. And the church, while we were waiting to get the narthex ready, was over at Barney's, which is across the street from this church. And they brought the windows and the men from the church did it again, put the windows down the side of the church and the big archy one is at the front of the church. From there, we only had one exit. You had to go down the center aisle. So they decided with more members, they had to have a bigger church. So this one was built. And the men then took the windows out of the narthex and brought them over the, excuse me, the fellowship hall into this church because a contractor would not do it. This is the window for the Anderson family, Carl and Mary, and the left of the window shows a hand pointing downward. A hand pointing downward has always been used in Christian artwork to depict the hands of God at creation. But it also signifies that the hand is extending two fingers with the other three fingers folded. When a hand is shown in Christian artwork with the fingers separated into a group of two and a group of three, the two fingers represent the two natures of Christ fully human and fully divine. And the other three fingers represent the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In addition, there are three circles behind the hand that also represent the Trinity. The image on the right side depicts the Greek alphabet Alpha and Omega overlaid on top of each other with a knot tying them together. God is frankly referred to as the Alpha and Omega in scriptures because those are the first and the last letters of the Greek alphabet symbolizing that God is the beginning and the end of all things. The knot shows that the beginning of creation and the end of creation are all tied together in God. 